You are watching T to the M to the I D D. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? T to the M to the I D D. We are back with another video. Today, we are going to talk about something that I personally feel like is game changing for natural light photographers and off camera flash photographers. And I try not to use that term game changing very loosely okay when i say something is game changing i do think that it can be very very beneficial to the community and so that is why i am sharing it and putting it out into the universe for you all to consume so let me take you back just a few months ago and kind of give you context to what I am talking about. So one of my fellow subscribers, supporters um, reached out to me maybe about November time frame. I was just putting together my photo walk for uh, Vegas. And so they reached out to me and told me that they would like to attend my photo walk in Vegas. And they also told me one thing. They were like, man, the Apple Vision Pro is coming out. I plan to have it. And do you mind if I do an immersive video of your photo walk? And I'm like, that's no problem at all. Of course, you know, bring the Apple Vision Pro. At the same token, they wanted me to try the Apple Vision Pro out and i love tech so i say why not i'm excited to try out this apple vision pro i've seen it you know you, you hear all the buzz about it on the internet so once we go through that some time goes past you know the release of the apple vision pro was actually on uh february the 2nd wppi had my photo walk this is in march okay the photo walk comes, it is at the Nellis Sand Dunes in Las Vegas, maybe about 35 minutes out of the city. We set up and we do this immersive video experience. One, two, perfect. And the video recording of this immersive video is all from the Apple Vision Pro. So I give an intro, I kind of uh, talk about my photo walk and, you know, show some of the models and the location in general. Okay, capture the video, everything is good. Now it is actually time for me to try out the Apple vision pro because i did not have time at the photo walk so derek told me to come to his room and we are going to try out the apple vision pro now it's a lot of logistics setting it up for each particular person because everybody is unique in their own way we get the job done in the room set it up so that i can try it out the first thing that i do is watch the immersive video that we recorded back at the sand dunes and i have to say it is very very immersive as the title would suggest now why do i bring this up because i wanted to figure out the utility of an immersive video one of the things that struck me as i was going through all of these different apps and just kind of playing around with the apple vision pro was the fact that he asked me what do i think this would be beneficial for for photographers i feel like this would be oh man a great use case for you know we are on location photographers for example we are always dealing with the elements and just like in this case this could be like a temporal uh, type of solution for understanding things that go to uh, one the time of the year okay so this is March okay what was the temperature at that time of year so now we can add things like the temperature was like this okay where was the Sun this time of year and at what time was the Sun pointing in what direction because it helps us basically prepare to be able to take different uh, shots so it'll help us assess the gear that we will actually need because if we know that at this time the sun is high like this 
then instead of taking the 80, 8200, then we'll be like, yeah, I think I'm gonna need that 600. And also uh, I'm gonna need that big boy light stand. So, okay, now I got that information. Let me let me take that. And, and you know, now you'll be better prepared for uh, that particular location. And that absolutely struck a nerve for me because it was March and just a few months previous to me trying on that Apple Vision Pro, September, I actually came to Vegas so that I could do some planning. I had to actually go out into the field and see how to get to the dunes. What will it take? How many cars will I need? ATVs, what gear? How is the sun gonna rise? How is the sun gonna set? What can I expect about the temperature, the climate around that time of the year? All of this information, just to make sure that the photo walk went as planned. And so when I thought about all of that, using that immersive video on that Apple Vision Pro, it told me like, just, you know, just in that instance, that's what came to me. I was like, man, this would have been perfect for me to do pre-planning of my photo walk. It might have would have even saved me the time of even having to go out to Las Vegas to even map anything out. If somebody else would have recorded that type of data and just shared it in some type of community post where you can view that data at large, right? Okay, now that is immersive experience for the Apple Vision Pro. But here is where this all comes together and I feel like it is a game changer for photographers in general. The next thing that happens is I'm creating content in Puerto Rico, okay? And in Puerto Rico is a lot of mountains if you if you're not really in the city. So, of course, we are going to use our maps. And so the map that I use, it just was already on the phone, on my Apple phone. So it's Apple Maps and I'm using it. And everybody is telling me about how bad Apple Maps is. And to be honest, I have Apple and Android. So Google Maps is on the Android. And so I, I never really get into it. As long as it gets me where I need to go, I'm pretty much fine. But I decided to go ahead and get Google Maps on both of the devices. And this is where I first learned about the immersive experience that Google Maps have. Oh my goodness. This is what I mean. It is absolutely game changing and something that would have helped me through my journey of photography, hands down. Now, what am I talking about? I am talking about the immersive view on Google Maps, okay? Now, a lot of this technology that they are using is in my wheelhouse. I deal with a lot of code and I deal with a lot of artificial intelligence. When I first seen this view, it is a 3D view. I deal with a lot of LiDAR making 3D point clouds. And so when I seen this 3D view, it immediately struck me that they use photogrammetry to represent the city uh, infrastructure, which is pretty cool. So they had me right at that instance. But even more so, the thing that is challenging and uh, they were able to do was implement the time filter and the time aspect of this immersive video is so critical because it shows you the lighting, the lighting, the lighting. What is photography? Photography is all about lighting. So you are able to see the lighting paths throughout the course of any day. And if you're a photographer, that type of information is key to you being able to get that shot, whether it's a shot that's in the shade or whether you are gonna be in full open shot at the sun and you still want to see where the sun is going to be. Now, of course, there are other apps that show the sunrise, the sunset, but this immersive experience is absolutely next level. Now, trying to introduce something like that, when I thought about the Apple Vision Pro, 
the downside to that is you're spending $3,500, $4,000, which is absolutely not feasible to most people. But something like Google Maps that you have readily on your phone, why wouldn't I get that? To help me see what the lighting is typically like in a certain area during the day that I want to shoot. That could save so much time. Now, you no longer have to go out and do the scouting. Is that not game changing? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, I have Google Maps open and I'm just going to go to New York. New York, we have an immersive experience, okay? And immersive experience. And we're loading it right here. And me, I'm a water type of guy, so I'm gonna scroll over to the water and I wanna see the time, okay? So now I got the time feature up. It's telling me the quality of the air. It's telling me the temperature. It's telling me the time of the day and it's letting me see where the lighting is. That is key for me. If I wanna do sunrise, sunset, if I wanna shoot at a particular building, I wanna see where the shadows cast, that information, in, in, that information is so key because that's the difference between me saying, ah, I want to pack light. So, okay, it's going to be in shade. I know I can get away with an 8200 in the shade versus ah, I really need to bring that 8400 or 8600 because there's no cover right there. So I know I'm going to need some power. And those are the decisions that you have to be able to make on the fly when you're doing those shoots, right? It's all handheld. This right here. I'm telling you this right here now right now it's in certain cities certain uh, locations but I can see this going throughout okay because just like I was telling you on this uh, 3d rendition this photogrammetry you have pictures being taken multiple pictures and all coming together which like I said is in my wheelhouse on some things that uh, I currently do so all of that it's pretty cool. Something that I wanted to share. And once I seen this feature, I started getting online. I started seeing like things on TikTok, Instagram, all of that. And I feel like it's my duty to let you all know the tools that you have at your hands to help you get the shot that you really want to get. So that is something that I absolutely think is game changing. OK, and I always like to hear you all's feedback. So definitely let me know what you think about this in the comments below. T to the M to the IDD until the next video, till the next time. Peace.